It's 7.27 right now. I am a morning girl. I love waking up in the morning. But today is going to be a realistic summer morning routine. Let's get it get cracking. Bow. So, you know, I'm gonna start my morning off with this good dish. Shit. Every morning. Then you know, I gotta turn myself up in the mirror. Glock, glock. Walk, walk, walk. Then brush my teeth. I love using Hello because it's fluoride free. And I just feel like it honestly brushes my teeth the best. And this mouthwash is the best. Got coconut oil in it. Wow. Then I put on some lip gloss. I'm a very glossy lip type girl. I hate chapped lips. Biggest pet peeve ever. Then I got my kombucha. Wow. That kombucha be that. Hey, flat stomach. Drink this kombucha. I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all see the results? Okay. I'm about to give y'all a real life, world class hack on how to drink kombucha. If you ever drink kombucha, it literally tastes like watered down. Apple cider vinegar is not good at all. But I'm basically about to chuck this whole thing. Y'all about to watch me do my thing. Why fuck that? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to pinch your nose. If you've never taken a shot before while pinching your nose, try this to like, if you don't like the taste of alcohol, just pinch your nose when you take the shot. And make sure you breathe out while your nose is still pinched. Then you want, basically, your taste bud receptors needs the your nose sensory. So when you cut this off, you can't taste it. Watch. Taste the best day, boy. Bro, this junk is acidic, so like it's hard to chug because, like, you gotta burp. Oh, my God. And just like that, I don't taste it. Cleaning up in the morning is so important to me because cleanliness is next to godliness, baby. Like, a clean space is a clean mind. A decluttered space is a decluttered mind. Like, it plays such a big part in just like mental clarity by being in a clean space. And then I also love smudging my Palo Santo. Like, the energy just gives my room is just so like, good. This energy on here, Claire. Look at me cleansing y'all's energy. Y'all welcome. <laughs> really hope y'all know that that was that, that was for the books bitch that was for the books gonna be all right every time i try to leave something keeps pulling me back me back telling me i need you in my life <clears throat> okay so this little get ready with me chit chat woo -wop, woo -wop, woo -wop, woo -wop, is gonna be about the process of healing i feel as if one everybody promotes healing but nobody promotes how to heal nobody promotes what healing actually is what healing actually takes and how to properly freaking heal you know what i'm saying i just feel like everybody be like you need a hell you need to hell but nobody is sitting down really teaching you like how to actually and genuinely heal honey i'm trying to be the world's most healed person on this planet because the last thing i want to keep being is bothered like i don't want to keep being bothered i don't want people to be able to still fuck with me bother me you know what i'm saying any of that sort i don't want none of that no more at all so the process of healing first and foremost let's go ahead and get this done the, pr the process of healing is not quick it will never be quick it will never be quick okay let's define healing what is healing healing is learning you again literally 
I'm going through a heartbreak right now. Um, really like a realization moment. I don't even know if I really want to call it a freaking heartbreak because boy, I just don't want that dude to have that type of title over my life. But you know what? Sometimes you can't deny what is undeniable. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and admit it. But yeah, like right now I'm going through a heartbreak. Okay, cool, whatever. You may be going through a financial endeavor that you need to heal from. You might be having family issues that you need to heal from or friend problems that you need to heal from. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the hell the case may be, you're healing from something. Whatever it is, you know, it knocked you off of who you were, right? Or who you thought you were, right? And now you're in this real big moment in your life where you're like, I want to be me again, right? So the process that I think everybody messes up <clears throat> is you will never be the person that you was before the pain. And this is just me keeping it so real with you. You will never revert back to the person that you was because you're not that person no more. A lot of people really just don't want to calculate that you go through shit to grow. And you just have to literally lock in with yourself. That's honestly probably like the first part of it all is really just locking in with yourself. Telling you have to ask yourself, are you ready to heal? Am I ready to go through all this whole process of learning if, you know, just just going through the process of healing itself is not easy, it's not fun, it's not cute, it's not funny. It's none of the stuff that people try to make it. I feel like people definitely try to um, not romanticize, but they definitely try to like push a certain persona of healing on the others. And I've seen that joke and I'm like, regret that it's not healing. Like bitch, healing hurts. Healing hurts, healing sucks. And it's just not that. I feel like one of the main parts to healing, honestly, for real, for real, for real, okay, is self-acknowledgement. For instance, me going through this heartbreak with this nigga, like, I've really learned a lot about myself that honestly needed to be changed and needed to be handled and dealt with. And I really, honestly, would have never known that if I never messed with that man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I didn't get my heart broken or whatever, and mind you, I'm not appreciative of it. Like, it's still very much so fuck him because you didn't have to hurt me. You didn't have to be the person to deal with the pain, but it still got dealt. This is so important to the step of healing because honestly, you literally will not know what to heal if you don't acknowledge what part of you needs to heal. Like for instance, I know for a fact I have a real broken heart and I know for a fact with a lot of the people, like a lot of my people that in the way that I've been moving is coming from a broken person. Like I need to heal that part. I, don't, I need to stop being so mean. Everybody is not out to get me, to hurt me, to use me and, and abuse me. You know, everybody is not trying to just, you know, get in my pants. You know, there might be somebody out here who really wants to get to know coffee and really wants to get to know me and who I am and what I do and how I do it. You know what I'm saying? Like first identify with yourself, like what is it within me that I need to sit down and heal? Cause it's a lot of aspects to ourselves that honestly we need to heal. You have family, you got friendships, you have relationships and then you have self. That's a lot. If you really, if you really sit down and think about it, that's a lot of different avenues to be talking about, oh, I need help with, like, damn, shawty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's nothing wrong with it. It's life. It's life. It's literally life. Like, hold on, because that scout would be screaming. Okay. Once I started self-acknowledging that I'm broken and I need to fix that before I step into another person's life was the day that I started healing. The day that you recognize that you need to heal and the day that you recognize what you need to heal is the day that it starts. Even though you may not act upon it, it still starts that day. Let me tell you why. Because self-acknowledgement for a lot of people is literally the hardest part. Literally acknowledging the fact that you are broken and that you need some, some type of assistance beyond physical, right? Not alcohol assistance, none of that assistance. I'm talking about pure spirit assistance. Like I need help soulfully, right? Once you start acknowledging that, you started the healing there because it, it, you, I need y'all to understand how many people don't sit down and take the time to notice that, hey, I need help. I need y'all to notice, I need y'all to know this. Like there's so many people that walk around every day that know for a fact they are broken, that know for a fact they are hurting, that know for a fact, that know for a fact, that know of a fact of, and they still decide to sit there and what? Hurt others. You know what I'm saying? Healing is ego death as well too. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you really wouldn't even know that, oh, I'm having a freaking ego death moment right now until you really start healing and you start seeing, like, dang, A plus one, I mean, <laughs> A plus one, one plus one really ain't equaling two, and two plus two really ain't equaling four. The next step in healing, right? This honestly is low key. To, this is the second hardest part, right? I struggle with this part to this day, like literally. Um, it's the action part of the healing. So we done sat down, we done talked with ourselves. I kind of basically sat on my healing journey for a break. And I didn't do anything. Like I literally sat down and was sad and mad and angry and I knew why I was sad, mad and angry and I knew what I needed to heal. I sat down with myself, I talked with myself, I did all these different things. But the one last thing that I never did was actually heal. Like, actually get up and start doing things to heal. Okay, so this is honestly so ghetto, but it's really not though. Like, this is just a one-time thing, y'all. I will definitely never record on my phone again, but obviously if my phone, if my camera die, I'm gonna record on my phone. But back to what we were saying, cause I was really in the thick of it. I was really like, you know what I'm saying, doing my big one. But once coffee started doing what coffee wanted to do yet again, that's when I really started realizing like, damn, like, oh my gosh, like bitch, you real life was living his life, which, which, which is not cool because it's not your life. It's his life. Like there was so many different avenues, my boy, to, to, to learning myself again, boy. You know, I was definitely with one of those dudes where it was like rap music only, like that other shit be just lame, bro. Like don't nobody want to listen to that wake shit. No, no, no. And y'all yeah, know me. I'm I'm a real big music person like I, I listen to goddamn everything all the way from way back to 1950s all the way to ski yeet boy I'm talking about I just like I love music being in a car with him most of the time and not being able to just do and say and just whatever the fuck being able to finally finally do and say as you please i promise you you will never you will hear ye hear ye when i say this once you start doing what you want again doing the things that you want to do you will never in your life compromise that for a soul do you hear me like so that's kind of basically how you start to heal that's the action part of it start doing any and everything that you wanted to do that you that you haven't been doing right so for me for instance everybody knows that i'm an overall creative like i literally love creating everything and anything that can be created under the fucking sun so i started doing every and anything that i did again and then i started realizing how much i was not doing what i love to do for so long bro like bro i started singing again i started sewing again making my own clothes again I started making like cinematography films, short little films, shit. I started running errands again, just going antique shopping, going thrift shopping. Ever since I could go thrift on my own, meaning like my own car, my own time and all that stuff, I did that. But I was not doing that junk when I was with that man, bro. I was not doing it. Whatever the hell my swag was, it was just always perceived in a negative notion. And once I started redressing again, when I say I literally y'all have fallen in love with myself all over again, and it's the most beautiful thing ever. I literally love myself. And when I was with that bitch, I literally hated myself. I I told y'all I did not like myself. So it, it when 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 you heal, you have to do every and any little thing for you. Healing is a period of selfishness. That is not the period that you need to be pouring in the ugly people's cup. It's a period of me, myself, and I. What does coffee like to do? What does coffee need to do? What does coffee want to do? And as I started just real life, like I said, like reliving life again, being being somewhere and not just having these like overthinking ass thoughts or whatever the case may be, boy, just all of that, none of that, okay? Like I'm kicking chicken, do you hear me? I'm literally chilling. I'm still healing. Like as we speak, I'm still dealing with shit. I'm still healing from a lot of stuff. I'm still figuring it out. I literally woke up this morning and was like, why would he do me like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be healed. I'm gonna get there. I'm not, I'm not gonna rush my process because a process is a process. You gotta let the process process for it to be process. Take your time with yourself and follow the first three steps I gave you. The first step is realizing, okay, I need help. Second step, self-acknowledgement. What is it that I need help with? And the third step is action. And the action is you do everything that you love to do, do everything that you want to do. 
And once you get on that frequency of popping your shit for yourself, baby, when I say everything else in life aligns, you ain't gotta do that. Once you do what's for you, everything for you will come to you. All the people that has been coming in my life since I dropped that nigga, every, all the opportunities, all the different things that I have been just doing, it just feels so aligned. It just feels correct. And I can truly and wholeheartedly say, like, the shit I was doing when I was with that bitch, what? Stop playing with me. That shit was crazy. That shit was... Stop. I was literally doing everything that wasn't for me when I was with that nigga. Like, but that's it. That's all. I really hope y'all enjoy my morning routine slash get ready with me slash chit chat slash 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 up slashes. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Why? And you already know what it is, Coffee Beans. Uh, I love y'all so much. The hashtag for me and my supporters is Coffee Beans with an S. It's like spell C O F F. You see it. So I love y'all. That's all, that's all. I'll call y'all back later. What? <laughs>